all know Coco is probably one of the most overpowered support heroes in the game. However, oh my goodness, you, you thought she was good already. Just wait till you see what she can do now. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you guys are using Coco, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know all the stages and what stages you've gotten to because of this hero in the AFK battles. And let's jump right into it. So this right here is going to be a goal, I feel like, for a lot of free-to-play because summoning and keep getting more Coco copies just is good. Her abilities become stronger and stronger. The higher level and uh, awakening ascension that she has, more damage reduction built in, uh, better healing for all allies, which is really cool. More damage, but we don't really care about that. And of course, she gets additional haste as well, gets her... Uh, some more attacks, things like that. But let's be honest, we just recently got her to Mythic Plus, and I was not prepared to truly understand how strong Fluffy Shield was until I did it. And this has actually helped us push our account up over 1,000 already. Now, I know that's huge whale territory, guys. I know, I know. Don't ignore that part of it, because this is a hero you want to build anyway, and when you do finally get her to Mythic Plus, it is a huge payoff. So it says after the damage recorded in full energy, which is her ultimate. So her ultimate is basically taking less damage and records all that damage that you're taking. All allies gain a shield for seven seconds. They can absorb damage equal to 15% of that total damage dealt by allies affected by full energy while it is active. Holy cow, this thing is a lot uh when you do get her exclusive up to level five it increases the shield value to 20 when you get it up to level 10 it removes all allied heroes control effects when casting full energy which is pretty insane too granting 20 resilience as well when the skill takes effect and then when you if you do get it up to level four at uh ex 15 gains 30 resilience when the skill takes effect so this is uh this is a pretty this this is pretty <laughs> Pretty light to say she gains a shield when casting an ultimate. So this ends up being an absolutely disgusting combo. Granted, if you do get her Supreme Plus 2, increases the target's vitality uh, after Coco feeds them uh, the Fulfilling Feast, which is the kind of big heal for allies and stuff, which is good. <sighs> Fluffy Shield. This thing is insane. So let's see if I can show you guys in some combat exactly how powerful it is. So we're going to push one of these battles here and our typical formation that I've had the most luck with is Thorin with Smokey behind him. Occasionally I have to drop Smokey off for like a second tank, uh, but the most important trio I feel like is Rowan, Sessi, and Coco. You guys know the combo, so we're going to try to show it. But have you guys ever noticed like sometimes like once that buff wears off and you can no longer survive with that damage reduction buff, your team sometimes kind of melts. Well, this ultimate <laughs> exclusive is amazing. So let's do the way we're supposed to do it. We get Sessie going first, then we get Coco going, and then you guys will notice here in a second, watch this buff. This buff is ticking down. This is Coco's buff. Oh no, we might actually win before the battle happens. No, no, I think uh, <laughs> sometimes we do too much damage, but essentially what's going to happen here is when this wears off, look at the buff all, or the shield that all the heroes get. It is a gigantic shield. Sometimes more than three quarters of their entire health bar ends up being shield, which is just absolutely insane. So let's get this going again. Show you guys a few different combos of what we've had going on here. See if we don't absolutely destroy the competition because I did get my hero residence up today. So that might mean we're just really strong at this point that we don't even need the buff. But let's see if it ticks down. It looks like it will. Yep, it's about to. And then look at that size of the shield right there. Look at the shields we are getting. It is such a big shield that that's not even the biggest one because it's based on the amount of damage we're dealing. And this has really helped push our afk progression even further because let's be honest sometimes once that debuff runs out your entire team just melts and 
I was not expecting this to be as good as it was because I've never had the experience of using her exclusive and now her exclusive is just absolutely insane. I didn't think Coco could get better in my opinion and now she just got like absolutely crazy. Just crazy, crazy good. Uh, granted, right now we're probably at the point where the shields aren't even playing a role because we're just beating them so quickly. But again, you can see the size of those shields that pop up. They can be a difference maker. I've had it actually be a gigantic difference in a lot of the stages we've been pushing. And again, this combo right here, this is my go-to. This is I just do this combo all day. Even if they do the order backwards, like watch, I'll just let it do an auto. Usually Coco does get her ultimate off first, but sometimes Mr. Carlisle's still up. This team is insane. This thing has been pushing so much content for us. And again, our goal is to try to unlock every game mode as soon as possible so you guys can see what to expect in the future. Don't worry. Don't worry. Eventually, probably in like two days, we're going to start a free-to-play series. So you can't just say Barry's just always pay to win. Because I, I've played free to play on the PTR. I got up to like Resonance 130, 140 on the PTR completely free. Uh, so I know the experience and I know the struggle sometimes to get progression when you're not spending a single dime on this game. However, if you play smart and you focus on the right heroes, you can see that shield right there. It's absolutely huge. This combat is lasting much, much longer. And yeah, the shield is just so big that you can't even like it's literally more than a normal hero's health bar and it's just getting absolutely disgusting now because of that i would say you guys probably want to keep uh your your wish list looking like this for the majority of your session like you should probably have coco and Odie up there they're going to be two of the best damage dealers around Odie is the best like single target damage dealer until heroes like merrily and corin get up to mythic plus uh but for me i'm kind of, i'm trying to max up my kruger so just keep Keep that keep that in mind don't always copy this exactly uh but yeah the the this coco staying here is definitely a thing you could always put coco here just remember you can do a levels i just really don't recommend it until you get like the core of your s level heroes done like even me like most of these other s levels on here i don't really plan on using them in reality i feel like uh if it was me and like i'm just on my spender account and stuff I'd probably do something more along the lines like this, but keeping some of these S levels up here might be good. I don't know, but you can do that. The other thing to note is in the Emporium, in the Dream Store, there are a bunch of different options that are really good here. I mean, you got the Odie, you got the Merrily, you got the Coco. I would try to stick to those three overall. Corrin is more of a niche one that you kind of build a little bit later on. You don't need to build him like right away because, again, honestly, Corrin is not that great until you get him up to Mythic Plus, which is like compared to other heroes that are still good before Mythic Plus, but he really becomes like his powerhouse that he is once you get to Mythic Plus. And before that, uh, he does feel a bit lacking. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm just every single day impressed more and more on this hero. And now that we know exactly how her fluffy field shield fluffy shield feels in combat she's just still the greatest hero in the game hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know how your adventures with coco are going and i'll see you guys next time